I will sing of your goodness forevermore. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name, worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise, worthy is your name, worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name, worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise, worthy is your name. Lord Jesus, your name is holy, name above all other names. Holy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Holy is your name. Holy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Holy is your name. Holy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Holy is your name. Holy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Holy is your name. Holy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Holy is your name. Oh Lord Jesus, your name is mighty, the name of all other names. Mighty is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Mighty is your name. Mighty is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Mighty is your name. Mighty is your name. Jesus, you deserve the praise. Mighty 
Sisters, let us lift up holy hands and thank and praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Worthy is your name. Jesus, you deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Jesus, you deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Praise Jesus. You, Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Worthy are you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Worthy of all praises, glory, yes, and honor. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be, be every, every moment, moment thine. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters, wherever you are. You are, as we are all, in the presence of majesty. In the presence of the name above all other names, our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, brothers and sisters, It's so wonderful to worship the Lord for our God is worthy, our God is holy, our God is mighty and it will just go on and on. Our God is glorious, our God is healing. Brothers and sisters, even as all of us are focused on our Lord Jesus, Today we are going to meditate on the power of the name of the Lord. We are going to adore the name of Jesus as we already begun. We are going to worship the Lord as we hear the word. We are going to give him thanks. We are going to give him praise. Brothers and sisters, Matthew chapter 1 and verses 21 says, She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. The name of Jesus, 
the worthy name of Jesus, the holy name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus. What is the power in the name of Jesus? Why was this child not given any other name and only the name of Jesus? And we see the answer here, for he will save his people from their sins. What is man's greatest problem? What was man's greatest problem? Today, what is man's greatest problem? In the future, what will, is, what will be his greatest problem? And we all know it is the problem of sin, sin alone. Oh, how sin destroys. Oh, how sin causes disgrace. Oh, how sin causes misunderstanding. Oh, how sin causes trouble. How sin destroys. It destroys relationships. It destroys health. It destroys families. And brothers and sisters, our loving father, Abba, sent his only son, Jesus, so that we could be saved. We think it is joblessness. It is poverty. Well, these are all problems, but nothing compares to the problem of sin. And over time, man has tried again and again to solve this problem of sin in his own way. Sacrifices, rivers, penance, all that is there. But God has got the best solution for the problem of this. The greatest problem of man. The problem of sin. And God has got it all arranged. He's worked it out all for our good. He knows that man cannot save himself and cannot get a solution for the problem of sin. He knows that. Therefore, God sent his only son, Jesus, into this world. And we see the name of Jesus, the primary reason, the power of the name of Jesus, he will save his people from their sins. Brothers and sisters, philosophers, great leaders, military leaders, political leaders have all come and gone. But none can save. None can give salvation to the human race. They were all great leaders. Many of them died for their people. But they couldn't save the people that were following them from man's greatest problem of sin. And Acts chapter 4 and verses 12 says, There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. So the writing is very clear. There is salvation in no one else. Today we are living in a world of confusion. We all want to feel good. If you open the WhatsApp, there are all the feel-good messages in the morning. But remember, only the word of God, which is revelation, can transform lives. Only the word of God. Many of us are used to to many messages and most of these messages are feel good messages are they revelations that can transform our lives absolutely no only the word of God it is revelation from heaven Acts chapter 4 verses 12 says there is salvation in no one else for there is no other name under heaven 
given among mortals by which we must be saved. Here again it says, saved. Saved from what? Saved from sin. There is no other name that is given under heaven among mortals by which we can be saved other than the name of Jesus. And if we go further, there is even better good news. Acts 16.31 says, They answered, Believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Yes, brothers and sisters, Believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, it's very clear. The word of God says that believe on the Lord Jesus. Not only will you be saved from sin, but here is a promise for all of us to claim you and our household. Wherever we are, brothers and sisters, place both your palms over your chest, wherever you are. You may be all alone, you may be with your family, you may be with your friends. Look at Jesus and tell Jesus, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. All the good works that I do cannot, is not sufficient to save me. But what you did on the cross is more than sufficient to save me. Jesus, According to your promise in Acts 4.12, I believe that you are the only name given among mortals by which I must be saved. Brothers and sisters, just believe it. Pray. Raising our right hand towards Jesus. You may be grappling with sin. You may be struggling with the problem of sin. Let us raise our right hand towards Jesus. And claim the promise of Acts 4.12. It may be years that you are struggling with sin. It's years. But remember, for the Lord, one look is more than sufficient. One touch is sufficient. You would have tried your best to come out of sin. But the harder you try, the deeper you go into it. And the word of God says, only believe and you will see the glory of God. Brothers and sisters, this is the time to believe. So wherever you are, just raise your right hand towards Jesus. Press the faith button. And pray. Acts 4.12 Lord Jesus, I believe that there is salvation in your name. For there is no other name by which I can be saved from my sins, slavery to sin, from my struggle that I'm going through other than your name. Jesus, I make this prayer in your name. Amen. And brothers and sisters, I believe many of us who have prayed this prayer in faith, You've already experienced the power of God flowing through you. For he is a living God. He is a living God. Our Jesus is a living God. And the name of Jesus is worthy. The name of Jesus is holy. And the name of Jesus is mighty. The name of Jesus is worthy. The name of Jesus is holy and the name of Jesus is also mighty. Yes, brothers and sisters, this is the most important reason why we worship Jesus, why we adore Jesus. We adore Jesus, our Savior. We adore Jesus, our Savior. It is in the name of Jesus that we are saved. We bless the name of the Lord because he is our Savior. 
who saved us from the slavery of sin, who saved us from the pit of sin. We believe and we all say, Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for being our Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for being the Savior of the world. And you are the Savior. And brothers and sisters, we also look at the name of Jesus that protects. John 17 and verses 11 says, Jesus says, John chapter 17 and verses 11. And now, I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. Brothers and sisters, Jesus has given us a revelation from heaven. Pray for protection in his name. Pray for protection in the name of Jesus. Especially protection in relationships so that they may be one. Protection in the relationship of marriage. And isn't it so? In marriage, it is not just two, but three. Jesus is also there. And when we take Jesus in our relationship, that relationship is protected. Family is protected in the name of Jesus. Relationship of brothers and sisters protected in the name of Jesus. Relationship of friends protected in the name of Jesus. If Jesus has taught us that this is the way, this is the secret, he prayed to his Father in heaven, protect them, that is his disciples, in the name that our Father has given Jesus, so that they may be one, unified, united, one. We offer all our relationships in this holy hour to the Lord. And we ask the Lord, to protect our relationship. If Jesus has prayed it, we also have to believe and pray. Let us pray for protection of relationship. Brothers and sisters, let us offer our relationships to Jesus. Maybe we have strained relationships, pained relationships. And let us ask the Lord to bless our relationships in his name. Relationships which is protected in the name of Jesus. Relationships which is blessed in the name of Jesus. And we ask the Lord to bless our relationships in the name of Jesus. In this time, may we all be blessed by the name of Jesus, and offer strained relationships at the feet of the Lord. Ask the Lord to bless us, bless our relationships. Maybe it is a new relationship, old relationship. Ask the Lord to bless our relationship, to keep sin out of relationship, to keep dis dis uh, disturbances out of relationship, and let the power of the Spirit come upon all relationships, especially within the family, brothers and sisters, friends and neighbors and especially in our church. Let's look at Jesus. His name is blessed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The most high Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be the name of the Lord 
the most high Jesus Jesus is the name of the Lord Jesus is the name of the Lord Jesus is the name of the Lord the most high Jesus is the name of the Lord Jesus is the name of the Lord Jesus is the name of the Lord the most high the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous running to it and they are saved the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous running to they are saved. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the, Lord, the Most High. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the Most High. Jesus. Jesus is the name of the Lord. Jesus is the name of the Lord. Jesus is the name of the Lord, the Most High. Jesus is the name of the Lord. Jesus is the name of the Lord. Jesus is the name of the Lord. The most high. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless you. We bless you, we bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the name above all name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we come before you, Lord, in this time of adoration, we desire the Divine Mercy Chaplet with every intentions and interceding for our brothers and sisters. The opening prayer. You, you expire, Jesus, Jesus for the source, source of life, life gush forth for, for souls, souls, and, and the, the ocean of mercy, mercy open up for the, the whole world. world. O fount, o fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, we trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from all evil. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of, full of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He went down to death. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the covenant of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, life everlasting. Amen. Merciful Father, in this first decade, we thank and praise you for giving us this opportunity to stand in the gap and to intercede for our own brothers and sisters. Father God, we pray for people who are going through struggles in their life. Yes, Lord. As we know that on our own, we are nothing. We need your power, that is your grace. And we need your strength, Lord, to cope up with all the situations which come our way. Father God, every person on this earth is dependent on you. And every person whom you have created in your likeness, in your image, is, is according to your will. Yes, Lord, but somewhere we have, cho we have made a choice to live our lives according to our will. Yes, Lord. The struggles, Lord, which we go through is our own choices. Yes, Jesus. Father God, we pray for your grace and mercy, your strength and your courage and your compassion over us. Our Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Eternal, Eternal Father. Father. We offer, we offer you, you the body, body and blood, blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. Father Abba, in the second decade, we pray in this area of man's greatest problem. There was never, there is never, and there will never ever be a problem as big as the problem of sin. We lift up to you all those who are unable to forgive others, that in your great mercy, you will give them the grace to forgive their near and dear ones. We pray for people who are in addictions, drugs, alcohol, pornography, addiction to social media, which is so destructive, workaholics, people who are greedy to make more money at the cost of their own soul, and that too in the wrong means. We lift up to you people who are taking sin very lightly, Lord, that you will have mercy upon them. Let your light shine upon them. Show the darkness in their life and set them free, Jesus. We make this prayer, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Eternal Father, Father we, we offer, offer you the body and blood, soul and, soul and divinity, divinity of your, of your dearly beloved, beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ in, atonement in atonement for our sins, 
and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world heavenly father in this decade we specially pray for people who are going through rejection yes lord we pray for people who are going through rejection from their own, from their parents, from the society. As the child was in the womb, the first instant when, when the child is unwanted, the rejection which it, it goes through, the emotion struggles. And when the child is born and then there's a discrimination between the children, the rejection which they go through. Yes, Lord. And then in the society, and then the school they go to, when the child is not an average, uh, child is an average student, and not to the expectation of their parents or teacher, the rejection they go through. Father God, let these people who are going through rejection, let them not lose heart. Let them know that you have created them, and you have not rejected them. You have created them for a purpose. Let them come out of this emotion state which they are in. And let not the emotions control them, but you be the control of their life. For the God, we pray for your grace to flow into them. Get them out of the darkness which they are in. Yes, Lord. And let them live the life of fullness, which is your choice for them. Yes, Lord. Which is your will for them. Yes, Lord. Our Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we offer, we offer you, you the body, body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved, beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful Sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Father Abba, in this fourth decade, we specially pray for families throughout the world. Father, we lift up to you families that are safe and secure and protected in the name of Jesus. But Father, they are far outnumbered where families are living in darkness, families are living in worldliness, families are living disturbed, families are living in values which are sinful, families are rejecting your life, love outright, Many of them do not want you, Father. And Father, we claim your word in Acts 16.31. Believe in Lord Jesus, you will be saved, you and your family. Believe in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will cover our families in the name of your son, Jesus. Yes. We pray that as our families are covered in the name of Jesus, our families may experience deliverance from the powers of darkness. Yes, Lord. Our families be reunited. Yes, Our families be blessed. Yes, All the areas of blessing that is blocked be opened in the name of Jesus. Yes, that our families be living witnesses 
for the name of Jesus. Yes, Father, we pray for also the parishes. We pray for priests, religious missionaries, their communities, that they may experience your mercy. And in these difficult days, they also may be drawn so very close to you and don't drift away. We pray for their protection, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We make this prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Amen. Lord. Amen. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and, and divinity of your, of your dearly beloved, beloved Son, Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ in, atonement in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Father God, in this decade, we surrender ourselves into your hands. We surrender everyone who is before you and who is there present in front of, front of you, Lord, going through this service online. Father God, let everyone experience you experience your presence in their life. Let them be delivered from the darkness of this world and come into your light. Let all their prayers, petitions, intentions be surrendered into your hands and let them see miracles happening in their life. Yes, Lord. But first of all, we know that you want obedience from us. Yes, Lord. And to discipline our life and and then see the wonderful miracles working. Father God, you are a faithful God. Yes, Lord. And you are such a loving God. And you love us all equally. Father God, we pray for your grace and mercy during this time of adoration. As we bow down before you, we take your name and your beautiful name as Jesus. Yes, Lord. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Eternal, Eternal Father, we, we offer, offer you the body, body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion And mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion And mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion And mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy 
mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one and mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one and mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one and mercy on us and on the whole world the closing prayer eternal god the no mercy is endless and treasury, treasury of, of compassion, compassion inexhaustible. inexhaustible look kindly, kindly upon, upon us increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might we not despair nor become, become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself amen brothers and sisters let us kneel down to receive the blessed the the final blessings sacrament most holy o sacrament divine o praise and o thanksgiving be every moment o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine o praise and o thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most sacrament divine o praise and all thanksgiving